Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm stopping in today to share a little bit about my upcoming book, Home and Hearth, Quilts and More to Cozy Up Your Decor. This book is published by Martingale Publishing, and it is going to be available in September, just around the corner. This is actually my the preview copy that I get that ships by air ahead of all of the rest of the books. And it just came today and I just can't wait to show you all of the wonderful quilt patterns that you'll be able to find inside this book. And I don't have the actual quilts here with me right now, they're still with the publisher, but I do have the beautiful stylized photos from inside the book that we can pop up on the screen and share with you. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to go through the book kind of page by page, but as I mentioned, we will show on the screen the uh, photographs from the publisher so that you can get a really good look at everything. But I did just wanna comment about how much I love the cover first, from the fonts that were used to the quilt that they chose for the cover quilt. This is actually a quilt made with a lot of different fabrics. Well, all of these fabrics are from a variety of our collections in, that have the navy colorway. And so it was also the final quilt that I made for the book. And I had a lot of fun. It just kind of, I was gonna use some other fabrics for this quilt and then kind of right before I started sewing, I just realized, hey, I could use all of our navy prints. My Happy Days sample yardage had just arrived. And so I was able to uh, use that fabric along with some of our previous collections for this quilt that ended up on the cover. Okay, uh, so the first quilt in the book is actually a quilt called Dance Party. And this was a really fun book quilt to make as well because the fabrics in this quilt were designed by Maureen McCormick who played Marsha Brady on The Brady Bunch. And I used to watch that show as a little girl and who knew back in the day that someday I would be making a quilt with fabric that she designed and that in fact she would design fabric for the same company that I designed fabric for. So that was a really fun quilt to make. And the other thing that was super fun about that was this dance party quilt was that I used fabric from our collection, Happy Days, for the outer border. So it's all of Marine's fabrics in my blocks and then our fabric for the outer border. So and that dance party quilt is 56 by 67 inches finished and just a really nice size. The next project in the book is the Simple Patchwork Runner that I really love. And this was another fun mix of fabrics. I used Bonnie and Camille fabrics for the blocks, but again, once again, I was able to use some of our Happy Days fabric for the outer border. And this was a, a f runner that I can't wait to get home and put on my table. I specifically made this for our kitchen table and can't wait to be able to use it. The third project in the book is called Eclairs and it's a really simple jelly roll quilt. Also you use a charm pack with it. So the cutting is super easy and simplified by using those two pre-cuts. And I used our Balboa fabrics for that quilt. I should mention right here, all of the quilts in this book were quilted by my friend Marion Bott. There are a couple small projects that I did the quilting on. I'll mention those when we get to them. Okay, the next quilt is actually the cover quilt and it's called Side Door. It is actually named after a favorite restaurant of mine on the Oregon coast. And you know, the, the quilts in this book were made during the pandemic and I was really missing going out to restaurants when I was naming this quilt. And that side door restaurant was the last restaurant that I believe I ate at right before the shutdown of, of a, a nice restaurant of that quality. So uh, this quilt was got named after that. The next project in the book is a mini log cabins pillow. And this kind of started out as a challenge where I was going to make a log cabin a day. 
and I did so for quite a while, but I was working on the book at this time and I just thought this is going to be a super fun pillow. I'm still going to make a larger quilt with these same designs. But what I love about this pillow is that it uses scraps from a variety of our collections. I can't wait to get this pillow home also to use. The next quilt, Dream, is from our Happy Days collection. And it those fabrics got here just in time for me to, you know, get some of them into this book. This is a really fun mix of of all of the fabrics in that collection. Next up is the Backyards Blooms quilt, which was made with my friend Vanessa Gertzen's fabrics. And I just absolutely fell in love with this collection of hers when it came out. And it's called Folktale and had to make this quilt. There's also a coordinating pillow for the folktale quilt, the blooming pillow. And just, I really like to have coordinating pillow and quilt projects. And, um, you know, if you have the quilt draped over a bed, it's nice to be able to also accessorize with a pillow and the matching fabrics. Then we have the Alfresco Runner, which is just a fun block design that I've always liked. I sometimes like to use my favorite block designs for table runners. And this one fit the bill perfectly. I used a basic gray cider collection for this, and it just really was fun to mix the blues and the to and the browns and the taupes in this. Okay, another pillow, the Garden Blooms pillow. And for this one, I used grays and the citrines from our Happy Days collection and did a fun checkerboard style pillow. This one's kind of a bigger bed pillow. So it's, it's a large rectangular pillow that was a really will be really nice, as I've said before, to get this one back home as well. Next up is the Hearts at Home quilt. And this is actually a 27 and a half inch by 27 and a half inch wall hanging. When I designed this pattern, I knew that we were going to be doing a fabric collection in pinks and reds and purples. And so I kind of designed this quilt so that I could also make it again in those Sincerely Yours fabrics. And it's really kind of fun because this book will come out right about the time that those fabrics ship. So I'll definitely be making this one again in those fabrics to show you. But for a more everyday look, the Balboa fabrics that I used are really nice for this pattern as well. And another project with, with that same block, I did a Hearts at Home runner. Again, thinking that I would this would be really fun to remake in my Sincerely Yours fabrics and I will be doing that as well. But I used Cory Yoder's fabrics for this table runner and it just turned out beautifully. I did a scrappy binding and used one of her prints that I really love for the border. Okay, now when you get to the end of the book, I've got a couple surprises for you because I actually have some projects back here that aren't just quilts. I designed a patchwork project bag that I'm super, super fond of. It has curved edges and use, uses uh, little patchwork pieces and it has a clear vinyl window so you can see what is inside of it. And I also put a handle on it so that you can hang it up and it, the handle folds back if you stick it in a bag for travel. But this is just a really nice size and I know I will be making many more of these in the future for gifts for my sewing and quilting friends. And once I made that bag, I thought that it probably needed some little accessories to go with it. So I also made a rotary cutter keeper, which is just super simple to make, but it will ensure that if your rotary cutter is in your bag and you're reaching in to get it, that you're not going to you know, cut yourself on that blade, that that blade is stored inside this padded little storage case. And then I love hexagons. I've had hexagon projects in my la in um, a couple of my books. And so I wanted a fun little hexagon project and this is a hexagon needle case. And so these all go together, the hexagon needle case and the rotary cutter 
case and the little project storage bag can all be done together. You can make a gift with all three for your quilting friends. I, I just thought that would be such a fun thing to put at the back of the book, just a surprise for, for quilters who don't just want to make quilts, but I just wanted to let you know that there are 12 projects along with the three little storage bag projects. And those projects are a combination, as you saw, of quilts and table runners and pillows. But then I feel like the, the little storage projects at the end are, are just a fun bonus. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing an up-close look at these projects. Martin Gell, one of the things I love about publishing with them is that their photography is always just absolutely beautiful. And it is always so much fun to get my first copy of the book and see those, the, the photography in person. So I hope you enjoyed that peek through the pages of my upcoming book, Home and Hearth. I'm super excited to have it be out in the world and available to you. And I'll be talking more about some fun things I have planned once it releases. But for now, you can pre-order on Amazon. If you like to publish, purchase your books on Amazon, I would love it if you'd pre-order it there. It really does help with the book rankings I have found out over the past couple of years. I also have autographed copies that will be available and they're available in my Etsy shop now for pre-order as well. So thanks so much. If you enjoyed the video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.